History is always alive at the Strawberry Bank Museum, but on Saturday it will overflow with reenactors from all time periods. We're filling the grounds with people in costume, with muskets and cannons, with spinning and weaving, with, uh, we've got some Native American folks showing off their games. The American Celebration Weekend is something Ray Frazier talks a lot about at the visitor kiosk in Market Square as people look for suggestions of what to do. We have, of course, harbor cruises, uh, you know, uh, we got great restaurants in Portsmouth also. There's more, though, than eating and shopping. And then we have the Portsmouth Lighthouse. The Lighthouse at Fort Constitution in Newcastle is hosting an open house Sunday afternoon. A stone's throw from Newcastle Common with a protected beach and picnic areas, part of a stretch of coast with incredible views. Come across the bridge out of Seabrook, come right on into Hampton. Of course, you're going to hit traffic, so make it early. And then come right on up the coast, 1A. It's beautiful drive. Stop in at Rye Harbor for some deep sea fishing or rent a charter boat to do whatever. And of course, whale watching in particular uh, over the past three seasons, including this season, has been exceptional. Many will head to Happy Hampton Beach, the fourth a time for appreciating where we are, who we are, and how we got here. Makes you proud to be American 242 years. Well, Sunday night here at Strawberry Bank, after hours, there's a 1940s style swing dance under a giant tent. That's just before the fireworks. And on Monday morning at 11, under that same tent, their annual naturalization ceremony. It's the newest citizens among us being sworn in on the 4th of July. And if you've never been, it's really something. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.